Hey guys, finally reached 100 videos on my new channel. And you know what, I think things are turning out for the best this way. Things are going much more smoothly than on my old channel. Yeah, I don't have as many videos, but the content is better and I got a lot more support and I just want to thank all you guys for helping me along this whatever it is I'm doing. I was really in a rut for a while, but you pulled me out of that and I'm doing my best to make that worth it, to make all your support worthwhile. But anyway, on with a shout out vid. I'm only going to mention like five or six people, so if you don't hear your name in here, please don't feel like you're neglecting or like I didn't notice you or whatever. I was just very, very picky about who I had appear in this because I only wanted a few people anyway. But, alright, let's just get on with the list. First off is Firebird Freak 87. This guy's pretty cool. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're pals, we talk on Skype a lot, we toss all sorts of crazy ideas for new stories and, like, what we'd like to see in a Sonic game and all sorts of other crap, and, you know, he's aspiring to be a voice actor, which I can relate to. Not sure I'll ever be able to become a voice actor, but, you know, I do like voice acting. Um, it's fun to do. Anyway, next up. Alright, Tyler52TV, he really surprised me, like, today, exactly. He... Apparently, kind of liked my idea of this, you know, this weird zone from Sonic 4 Episode 2 actually being on Earth, rather than some, you know, weird cartoony interpretation of Mobius. And that was just amazing uh, to me. It really made my day just to think that something I said inspired and compelled somebody to make a musical thing, just to make a track out of the blue, just like that, that came out of nowhere. And, yeah, dude, uh, there's no way I couldn't mention you in this. So, yeah, thanks for that. Really made my day. Uh, so, yeah, cool music. All right, and then there's Edict Arts. We've been pals for a long, long time. Well, not really a long, long time. Just, well, back when my old channel, my first channel, was still relatively new. You know, I got his attention, more like I demanded his attention, and we started talking on Skype, and we've been pals ever since, and we still talk on Skype whenever we can, but this guy, like me, he's pretty unlu unlucky, because he, he often loses the means to make content. Like, his PS3 recently died, basically, and so he hasn't been able to, you know, provide a lot of content with that. He's had to put a lot of his playthroughs on hold. But, you know what, he got that fixed, uh, at least from what I've heard, and he's ready to get back in the game to make some new content. So, yeah, go over to his channel if you feel like it, and if you like his content, subscribe, because he's got more on the way soon enough. And, um, yeah, here's your shout-out, Edict Arts. He also has a cool DeviantArt page, so, yeah, if you like his art style and his other content, go ahead and watch him there if you're on DeviantArt. Alright, next one. Cinnamon Toast Ken. Okay, I know it's kind of strange that I'm starting to, to shout out to people who have a lot more subscribers than me. This guy's got like 10 times as many. Uh, well, almost. Because the idea of a shout out is to draw attention to people who have fewer views, you know, lower stats than you, to, you know, help them along all the way, to, you know, just give them a boost. And this guy clearly doesn't need one from me, but I felt like shutting out to him anyway because he did something that just, another thing that just really made my day. One day, some months ago, out of the blue, I got a friend request from him. And the thing is, I don't send friend requests to people very often at all. I can't really like, remember the last time I actively asked someone else to let me be their friend or whatever because I'm very choosy about that. To me, you know, you can't just keep adding every one to your friends list like this is Facebook or something where it's a contest to see who can scrunch up the highest numbers. And, um, I, it's just not very often that someone asks me to, you know, add them to my friends list. But, yeah, when I saw this guy, I looked at his content and everything. I guess he saw my Halloween video and I stood out to him or something. But anyway, not trying to brag or anything because I got the attention of some big popular YouTuber or whatever. But I feel like giving him a shout out, especially since YouTube just tossed the whole concept of having friends out the window. And they replaced it with contacts, which are like a halfway between friends and just subscribers. And that makes it so much less special and so much less meaningful and everything. And I hate that. Because I really, really like that this guy just came out of nowhere and had him meet his friends or whatever. But anyway, Ken, I hope you see this. Is your shout out. So, yeah, we all have our strange coping mechanisms when playing games like Amnesia and other scary games. 
I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this. So yeah, go over to his channel, and if you like his content, give him a watch and all that stuff. Er, subscribe. I'm getting mixed up between this and DeviantArt now. Okay, only two people left. Raver Kid. Sadly, I couldn't get a shot of this guy's uh, channel because he has it hidden for some reason. You can still watch all his videos just fine if you can look them up on YouTube, but his his actual channel is hidden. Which really sucks because I would have loved to include his background in this video. He's got this really, really awesome background. Just this huge cluster of all these crazy different things. And it's just fun to look at everything. And, well, here's your shout-out, Raver Kid. Hope you see this. Yeah, good on you, dude. Talk to you soon. All that stuff. And here's the very last guy. I was really skeptical about, um, about sharing this with you guys because this is something that I have kept hidden for a while. Yeah, mostly hidden. I've only let it slip out every now and then. But, what the hell, let's just go along with this. Some time ago, Crash Blast 23 Returns 3 said to me, Do you have Asperger's? Just say yes or no, simple as that. If not, do you have, probably have any relatives with autism or Asperger's? I'm just asking because I noticed some very minor symptoms of it in your videos, but don't take that offensively. In fact, there's absolutely no shame in having Asperger's. I have Asperger's myself, so I'm very curious about this. Please respond. And so I replied to him, Yes, I do. It's neat that you notice little things in my videos, because while I may seem mostly normal now, my case used to be really bad. It's not the sort of thing that can be cured, but the constant support of my family over the years has helped me to learn a lot and overcome certain things that I may never have on my own. And his response to me just really, really, really moved me. It was overwhelming. Crash Blast 23 Returns 3 responds, So you have Asperger's then, huh? Dude, you are amazing! Seriously, you make such awesome and well put videos despite having a social disability. I've never seen any Asperger in my life that nearly speaks exactly like any normal person does. You never stutter, you got a great sense of sarcasm and humor, and you hit the nail on your opinion strongly like no one I've ever seen before. I'm usually pretty good at identifying an Asperger at first conversation, but I never thought you could be one because of your perfect speaking and social skills. It took me a long time to assume that you had it. Good going, smiley face. This might sound a bit corny, but you're my role model from now on. I myself have never reached the outstanding ability you have. Just like you, my Asperger's used to be much worse when I was younger, but through many leadership groups, I was able to overcome it. Right now, I'm a leader of a, of a high school social group to help students diagnosed with Asperger's live their school lives without problems. Many people in my school say they couldn't tell I had a disability because I knew what you should do and what you should not do. Still, though, I wasn't capable enough to reach the social level of a normal person. I can still enjoy a conversation, but my skills aren't strong enough to, say, create YouTube videos without sounding awkward. I simply thought it was impossible for any Asperger to pull it off. Till I met you. Again, you did it great, and I'm not afraid to try making my own commentary videos from now on like I always dreamed. So thanks a lot. Even if you don't feel like you did anything, you did something great to someone just by simply expressing yourself on YouTube. From now on, if I ever meet an Asperger who feels incapable of doing something great, I'll show them your videos. Thanks again, and keep making and uploading those vids. Okay, guys, so I was really uh, hesitant to share this with you guys, I was really skeptical about whether I should or not, because there are two ways I can see this going really rotten. The first possibility is a bunch of you guys could be really ashamed of me for pridefully boasting, like, oh, look at how great this person thinks I am, look how I changed their life and their perspective and all that stuff, you guys should all worship me, blah blah blah, no, that's not the point of this at all, and sorry if you interpreted it that way. The second possibility is, well, by sharing that I am, in fact, an Aspie, that I have Asperger's, that I am anywhere on the autism spectrum, I am making myself vulnerable to people who would use that as an excuse to attack me and discredit whatever I say, basically equating me, you know, equating myself and all my fellow Aspies and autists to the likes of Chris Chan. Ugh. But I need to emphasize to Crash Blast and all his friends, if they ever get a chance to see this, that I am not special. I am not amazing. I am not outstanding. And I am not normal. And I'm especially not special. I am just some guy. And I am no better than any of you, and you are no worse than me. 
We are not defective as human beings, as some would like to say we are, and there is nothing that we are incapable of doing. The only thing that sets us artists and aspies apart from normal people is that we have a, we do have a little bit of trouble, you know, developing in certain ways, and we might need someone else to help us to make us understand certain things that would be like completely foreign concepts to us. And it's it's the best that this happens early on in your life. You don't need some social group or whatever. You just need like a, a parent who you know is really supportive and loving and does their best to help you develop and evolve as a person to just boost you up because that's all we really need we just need someone to show us the way and then we can you know then we can really surprise people i mean there are aspies who could become rocket scientists and all that stuff uh, people from throughout history who happen to be aspies have demonstrated feats of brilliance and all that jazz and, again, I'm not bragging about myself. In fact, the whole point of this is to show that, you know, I am not some standard that other people need to strive to meet and then they feel like they've accomplished something when they're as good as me or whatever. That is not it at all. And, you know, I hate to look at it that way, so I don't. And I need to emphasize, I am really, really moved by what this guy said to me. Crash blessed. Thank you for everything you said. Thank you for your sentiments. It really made my day. It really overwhelmed me to see that I had touched someone that deeply. But the thing is, you are wrong. I am not a role model, and you do not need to try to meet my level or anything like that. Just know that you can. That even if it might seem really hard, it is not impossible. And in some ways, it really isn't that hard because it's not really that complex. I mean, there's a lot of different extensions, expansions, or whatever of the autism spectrum. There's a lot of different people who suffer it to varying degrees. So it is a pretty complex issue. That's too deep for me to get into now. But just know this, you know, you and all your friends, know that there is nothing that you cannot do. And there are even a few things that most people might not be able to. You just need someone to help you along the way. Be that a fellow Aspie, or someone who just understands and loves you and all that stuff. And so, yeah, you all have my support. Um, I don't mean to inspire you or anything like that. I just want to give you support as a bunch of people here on YouTube have given me support. So, yeah, guys, um, that's it. That's my shout-out video. Again, thanks for everybody's support. Um, I'll do my best to provide new good content and all that stuff. I'll finally be getting a new camera in a few weeks, which I can use to make more live videos and all that stuff, and not just these recordings where I'm some disembodied voice. So, yeah. That's it. Toodles. Love you guys.